Hi Grade 8, now that you've done your entire exponents and kind of um, done Term 1's consolidation worksheet, there's just one last random thing which kind of falls under Algebra 2, kind of falls under exponents, and that's um, square and cube roots. So we're just going to do a quick lesson on square and cube roots. They pop up every now and again. So first of all, what does a square root mean? Now once again, I would write a heading in your book that says um, square and cube roots and I would write down all the notes that we're making with all of our examples. So just make sure you pause the video when you feel like you need time to catch up. So what does a square root mean? Well, first of all, you've probably seen the symbol before. It looks like that. Technically, there's an invisible 2 there because that what, that's what it means to have a square root. Now what does a square root mean? It means whatever is under the square root, you're saying to yourself, what multiplied by itself would give me that cloud? So a square root means what multiplied by itself, so an identical self, would equal and whatever is in this thing under the square root. So this is why it's kind of actually a square root is like an exponent because it's that same type of logic and when you get to grade 11 you'll see that link very clearly. So for example let's look at what does it mean to have the square root of 9. When you have a question that says the square root of 9 the question is basically saying to you what multiplied by itself would give you 9. And so some of these roots you just know off by heart because you've been doing them so long. So what multiplied by itself would equal 9? Now we would hopefully know that 9 can be rewritten as 3 times itself, which is 3 times 3. So therefore we would say the square root of 9 is 3. Because the square root symbol means what times itself gives you 9? And my answer is 3. Now can we extend that? Because you've probably been doing square roots with numbers for ages now. Now the question is can we extend that to algebra? Now of course we can especially now that we've done exponents because it's exactly the same logic. If I ask you what is the square root of x to the power of 4 the question is what multiplied by itself would equal x to the power of 4. So what multiplied by itself? How could you rewrite x to the power of 4 as something multiplied by itself. Well basically you're taking the fact that you have x, 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 x and I need to divide it into two identical parts. Now how would I divide it into two identical parts? I would say I need two x's there, two x's there and then together I would have four x's. So therefore my argument is the square root of x to the power of 4. What multiplied by itself gives me x to the power of 4? That would be x squared. Okay, so let's expand this idea. What does a cube root mean? We should know that a cube root means if we write the symbol, which now has a 3 there, and we put something under the cube root, this means what multiplied by itself, and then by itself again, would give me that cloud. So what multiplied by itself, and then by itself again, would equal the cloud. So when we write down a practical example, then it says what is the cube root of 27, for example, they're saying what multiplied by itself. So what magical thing multiplied by itself and then multiplied by itself again would give me 27. And whatever this magical thing is, this magical number, that would be the cube root of 27. So we should know that 27 is 3 times 3 times 3. So the cube root of 27, what multiplied by itself and by itself to give me 27, would be 3. And again, we can now extend this to algebra. Because this means what multiplied by itself and then by itself again would give me x to the power of 6. So whatever this is, is the cube root of x to the power of 6. Now x to the power of 6 means I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 x's. So I now need to divide them into 3 equal parts because I have to multiply the number by itself. So I would need 2 x's in each. So x squared times x squared 
times x squared. When you multiply powers of the same base, you would add those exponents. So 2 plus 2 plus 2 would give me 6. So I'm basically dividing those 6x's up into 3 equal parts. And so that's why there are 2. It's basically 6 divided by 3. Now that's not the same logic as numbers. Note here, I don't go, oh, what's 27 divided by 3? Because 27 divided by 3 is 9. So numbers and letters behave very differently. So with 27, you have to say what times itself, what times itself will give me 27. Whereas with letters, because when you're multiplying powers at the same base, you add those exponents, you're saying I have 6x's and I'm dividing them up into 3 different groups. So the cube root of x to the power of 6 is x squared.